hello everyone uh, welcome to pandey guruji youtube channel uh, so in this video uh, i am going to uh, discuss about the second part of the uh, interview uh, question uh, which i already started to provide the uh, real time interview question so if you uh, go here the play uh, playlist i already have the uh, sql practice exercise with the solution so uh, just you can go and uh, practice the whatever you learn under the uh, playlist complete sql and the database tutorial so so uh, just you can go and uh, learn the all the topic uh, under the sql complete sql and database tutorials and uh, you can do the practice under the uh, sql uh, practice exercise with the solution uh, okay so uh, I already uploaded the first part of the interview question as well as the some of the Amazon interview question. Uh, so if you uh, didn't get a chance, just you can go and look up that uh, uh, how the uh, exactly this type of the question will be definitely uh, come into the interview. So if you complete all this series, uh, so definitely you can crack any type of the interview. Uh, you can also. Uh, uh, learn with me with the directly uh, with the uh, pandegruji.graphy.com which link I will provide into the description box uh, where we'll also provide you the support of the interview uh, like if you're not able to solve any type of the question or any additional required one to one personally I will guide you so if you and that the batch will be going to start on the uh, coming Saturday so if you are not enrolled, uh, just you can uh, enroll this uh, uh, batch. Okay, so uh, basically this is the practice set two. So I have total uh, five uh, question, uh, which is uh, totally uh, the interview based question, important question. So uh, just you, uh, this question you can also find into the uh, video description. And if you have any question, uh, and uh, if you attend any interview or you're not able to solve the question uh, you can put the question uh, on the video description so i will pick up and i'll provide the solution so uh, i'll i receive couple of the question related to the data validation or the store procedure so that will be come into the uh, video number third so the uh, first question is okay so uh, how to get the distinct value uh, from a SQL table uh, without using a distinct keyword. So basically this type of the cross type question you will get into the interview and uh, this will be impact on the uh, very impact on the interview if you able to solve. Uh, the reason is this question covered the concept point of view like you have the system uh, built in function concept or not. Uh, you have the ranking function concept or not, not and uh, you have the performing tuning as well okay so this type of the question they cover so i will discuss how we can achieve this question and uh, the next question is uh, write a query to get the employee name uh, starting and uh, ending with the vowel so basically they asking the we need to get the all the employee name uh, which name is starting with the vowel and the uh, ending with the vowel so my name is Mukesh so this type of the name should not come into the output the reason is the m is the m is the not the vowel letter and here you put it the end condition okay so both the conditions should, is, should be satisfied like the starting uh, letter or the ending letter uh, this uh, I already discussed uh, when I discussing the uh, string function so if you have already gone the string function uh, definitely you get this tab this question which I already discussed but I put it here uh, the reason is so you have all the consolidated question number so no need to jump here then there so if you prepare all this question definitely you will create any type of the interview and uh, the next which is the related to performance tuning type of the interview and uh, initially if you have the fresher level or the uh, two to three years experience uh, so definitely they will put uh, in this type of the question related to performance tuning so this question is related to the performance tuning so basically uh, what is the difference between count count star and count means when when you put the employee key like the employee id what so what is the difference and uh, 
uh, what is the impacting into the output and as well as the uh, performance point of view so i will discuss you this question in detail so if any type of the question you will receive in the interview uh, you can answer any question the next one is the uh, what is the difference between identity and a scope identity and also sometimes uh, they will put the uh, what is the difference between identity and scope identity and identity current okay so identity current okay so basically uh, these three uh, we have some type of the uh, confusion uh, so that is the reason they and uh, they will put you the question like what is the difference between the identity and uh, scope identity uh, i already uh, covered under the concept video okay uh, what exactly the identity is there and the how you can utilize the identity into the uh, real time scenario base the uh, last question is uh, uh, how to reset the identity column in a sql so when you have the identity value uh, we can reset the identity value also reset means the uh, need to be start uh, whatever the value will be provided so what command we need to be execute so uh, this question you can find in this video description so just you can copy the question and try to solve and then you can see uh, what the output i provided into this video so if you follow like this uh, so you will get uh, where the lacking point is there where we need to be improved uh, like this all stuff okay so uh, you will get better understanding in area uh, okay so let's jump to the uh, sql server management studio and uh, try to solve all this question uh, one by one so the first question is uh, how to get the distinct value uh, from a sql table without using a distinct keyword so let's jump to the sql server uh, uh, management studio so this is my sql server uh, management studio and uh, uh, the first question is uh, uh, how to get the distinct value from a sql table without using a distinct keyword so i have one table uh, like i have the implies salary table is there so if you take this table as example uh, select star from uh, you can take any table and uh, order by order by one descending order so if you look up this table uh, uh, you can see uh, you can put the asc so you will get the employee ID one in the top so you can see employee ID one this record is the uh, duplicate this record is the duplicate so uh, this record we have the which is highlighted is the duplicate value so simply if you put the uh, distinct keyword here okay if you uh, put the distinct keyword here so simply uh, you can achieve by using the distinct keyword we will get the distinct value uh, but distinct uh, value is the if you using the distinct keyword here and the record have the million of the record uh, the performance will be go down so the but question is saying that uh, how can get distinct value means uh, not a duplicate value uh, from a table without using the distinct keyword so no need to use uh, this distinct keyword so uh, without the distinct how we can solve this question okay so uh, under the ranking function i already discussed the uh, row number function and the row number function is basically giving the uh, numbering uh, basically whatever you provided under the partition by so if you use the partition by so partition by all the column like uh, whatever column we have the table employee employee name employee salary and department id okay and order by employee id so if you look up this uh, in the back end okay uh, if you execute this uh, code so you can see the output is coming uh, like uh, uh, the output is uh, giving the whatever the duplicate value have the 1 2 3 4 because we use the partition by clause so if you have the understanding of the partition by clause then you can you able to solve this question uh, otherwise you not able to solve it okay so you can see 1 2 3 4 5 is there so uh, uh, greater than whatever value 1 is there this is the uh, duplicate value so uh, i use the uh, table uh, derived table concept here 
and uh, I've given, given the Elias name where k is equal to rank is equal to 1 if you give you will get the all the value which is the distinct value only so you can see there is no uh, duplicate value is the coming into the output so by using the derived table concept by using the uh, row number function concept uh, uh, you can achieve this type of the requirement uh, now uh, the next question is uh, write a query to get the employee name starting with the and uh, ending with the vowel so here uh, i use the uh, so i use the here you can fit the enter okay so i use the here the left function so and taking the first name of the first letter and putting in clause which is the a i o u and the right uh, of the function because we need to end it so if you execute this from the table you will get the all the employee information which is the name is starting with the vowel and the ending with the vowel uh, the, this type of the question if you if anyone asks you how you can find the ending with the vowel starting with the vowel and ending with the consonant so uh, simply uh, just you can put the uh, not in okay uh, so uh, you will get this type of the question which is the starting with the vowel and ending with the consonant so if you have the requirement if you have the idea how you can solve this question and they will if they ask any type of the question uh, you definitely you will you can answer it okay so uh, this is the very simple if you have the knowledge on this uh, a right function or the left function and in clause now uh, we have the next question is the what is the difference between count count and uh, count star and uh, count employee key so let put here okay so in the table so see what is the difference okay so select star uh, select uh, count count employee key okay so let me put the uh, remove the uh, from the table name uh, deem employee and uh, deem employee okay so now you can see here the output will become same okay so basically 296 296 296 is coming so count one they basically total number of uh, value and the count star is also count the total number of the value but if you pass the any of the column name uh, which is the uh, which is the uh, null value the the null value will be not count like for example if you put the uh, middle name okay so I'm putting the middle name you can see the output will be different if the middle name is have the null so now you can see a uh, 283 is coming uh, like if you subtract from the 96 to 83 like uh, uh, 7 or 6 uh, um, 13 13 record have the uh, 13 record we have the doesn't have the middle name and uh, the and the second benefit of the count one is always uh, good performance okay so if you uh, if you write down here like this one uh, from this better understanding okay so if you put the something comment if this have the uh, better uh, performance okay uh, if you uh, uh, man sir if you talk about the uh, count star so count star have the uh, bad performance so always in the real time uh, you can use the count one okay uh, so we have the bad performance here and middle name they eliminate the uh, this with the uh, eliminate the eliminate the null value okay so null value will uh, not count okay so that is the we have the three situation if you have and if you uh, able to solve this question okay so uh, definitely you have the better understanding on the performance tuning and uh, that is the reason interviewer will ask put you this type of the question the next fifth question uh, we have uh, like jump to the question number so fifth question we have the what is the difference between the identity and scope identity so let's understand the exact difference between the identity and the a scope identity and the identity current okay so uh, let's jump to the uh, chrome okay so i have uh, so basically uh, if you see the uh, scope identity and uh, main difference between the scope identity and identity current and the identity are similar uh, function is that they return the value inserted identity a uh, column okay so whatever the last insert value inserted uh, they uh, they uh, 
populate they give the in the uh, output but the question is uh, what is the difference between all three and in which situation i will use the identity current or identity uh, scope identity or at the rate at the rate identity so uh, basically scope identity and identity current will return the last identity value generated in any in a table in current session so both will work in the uh, both will be work into the current session only so let me uh, highlight it here so you will get better understanding so if you put the uh, uh, highlighter here okay so let me put this in yellow color okay so this is the basically work on the current session however identity current return value inserted only within the current scope so what is the difference between the scope and uh, what is the difference between the current session okay so uh, the scope is nothing but so uh, the uh, the scope uh, is nothing but uh, basically any scope like store procedure function uh, trigger uh, uh, this is the all the uh, scope uh, so i already mentioned in the notes so this notes you can find uh, into the description bo bo box uh, so uh, basically uh, a scope is the anything like the store procedure so you can see the scope module so what is the scope module a scope module is a store procedure trigger function or any other badge but the session is the nothing but if you uh, so jump to the management studio so this is the uh, one current session so if you executed whatever the code under the this session which is the say set to uh, dot sql so this is the uh, session name is there okay and the uh, scope in anything like the store procedure is running or the trigger is running and they updating the data that is the uh, scope so basically uh, uh, so basically uh, when we talk about the difference point of view uh, the identity current uh, and identity uh, scope identity and at the rate added identity will work in current session however a scope identity uh, will be work uh, within the current uh, scope so whatever we have the uh, scope so you need to always remember this uh, two uh, terminology uh, if you uh, differentiating the value okay so uh, i highlighted here so i also we have the couple of thing uh, related to uh, scope identity so a scope identity return the last identity value insert into a identity current in the same scope within the whatever the scope is there uh, but if you talk about the at the rate at the rate current uh, identity at the rate at the rate identity return the last identity value generated for any table in the session current video across all the uh, all the scope so i already mentioned in the detail if you go to this uh, uh playlist under this playlist uh, if you go to the uh, complete sql tutorial i provided the complete uh, demonstration uh, how we can uh, uh, what is the different uh, uh, between the scope identity at the rate at rate at identity even you can see this is the playlist uh, thumbnail is also same identity scope identity and identity current is there so video number 13 is there so you can go and watch so you can you will better understand okay so the last question uh, we have uh, that uh, how to reset the identity column in a sql okay so let's jump to the sql server and uh, here we can learn so uh, basically uh, if you talk about this uh, student uh, table okay so this uh, this table is not created uh, so uh, let me create this table and insert some value okay so uh, we have this uh, a student identity student id is the identity column and if you look up this uh, table here okay so you can see uh, we have five value inserted so but uh, after that if you want to reset it uh, to one okay because already five is inserted so you can use the uh, dbcc check identity table name reset and what value you're going to reset so if you execute this one so now you can see the some warning message will be come check identity information current identity value dbcvc execution completed if dbcc print error message contact or system administrator so this is the basically it's coming for the warning point of view so now if you uh, see the identity and the scope identity value uh, you will get uh, null value okay uh, sorry because this is the inserted so if you insert uh, inserted and if you insert the sum of the value uh, like the uh, 
uh, other uh, session like here i am inserting again the something uh, deepak 1 okay and if you can insert the value and uh, if you can see here the whatever the value got inserted here okay so it, it start with the 2 now if you go and uh, if you see here you will find the 3 but because whatever the this in this session it is got inserted now if you uh, see the current identity student table you can see this is the coming to uh, because 2 is inserted into uh, uh, after the reset if you again insert here the uh, other record so now if you go to the table here the student table you will get uh, this 3 value inserted now if you go and uh, check the identity and the scope identity you will get 3 3 so like this uh, the scope identity and the identity work and uh, uh, we can reset the identity uh, if you have any question if you have any doubt anything uh, just you can uh, put the all the doubt under the uh, video and uh, you you can find all this question under the video description and do the practices so thank you so much for the watching this video now i will meet again in next video thank you